I'm Rachel with Sew Joyful Studio. I'm here today to tell you about the block that I designed for the sweater weather sampler. The name of my block is Sing Plaid. Each block is unique, so I'm going to tell you about the one that I designed here. Uh, this is a plaid, simple and quintessentially fall. Here in Minnesota, as soon as the fall season starts, everybody breaks out their plaid. So when I see this, it gives me all those cozy fall feelings. It's also the perfect block to start with in the sampler because it's just a bunch of two and a half inch squares and half square triangles in the corners. So very doable and approachable for someone who may be a beginner or just wants a doable first step for the sampler. So definitely something you can accomplish. I hope that you guys join us and we can't wait to meet you. Hey there, I'm Megan from Modern Moon Quilt Studio, and I'm here today to tell you about the quilt block that I designed for the sweater weather sampler. My quilt block is called Falling Leaves, and it is a really modern and minimal quilt block using these simple orange peel units to represent leaves that are changing colors and falling to the ground. I would call this quilt pattern an intermediate pattern simply because it does use curves. However, they are large curves, um, so they are great for beginners and perfect if you've never done curves before. And don't worry, I have plenty of video to show you exactly how to cut the templates, cut the fabric, and piece together these curves to create your falling leaves quilt block. I hope you enjoy and happy fall. Hey guys, it's Abby here from Abby Made. And I am so excited to be part of a group of nine incredibly talented and sweet, amazing designers who are all working together to bring you the Sweater Weather Sampler 2023, which is a nine block sampler that we will be sewing together over nine weeks. And guys, it is seriously so good. So I'm here to talk about my block for the sampler. This is what it looks like and it is called the woolen block. So I live in the Midwest, which has four very distinct seasons. And what I love about fall, fall is my favorite. And what I just love about it is when the temperature dips just a little and you can break out the sweaters and the jeans and the flannel. And so this block really just speaks to like the woolen sweaters and the woven woolen blankets that just are so ubiquitous with fall here in the Midwest. So whether you're curling up around a bonfire, swapping stories with friends, or whether you're cheering on your kids from the sidelines of those chilly fall sports, or just cozying up with a cup of tea or coffee and watching the fog roll in in the morning, this block is meant to bring the cozy factor. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks! Hi y'all, I'm Emily. I'm the creator of Dreamland Quilting and one of the pattern designers for the Sweater Weather Sampler of 2023. I'm very excited to make my pattern design debut among some really talented friends. We're bringing you the Sweater Weather Sampler 2023 as a free quilt along that will run for nine weeks starting September 1st. The block that I designed is called Homer. It is my interpretation of my favorite place on earth that's filled with my favorite people on earth, home. If there was ever a quilt block that says home is where the heart is, it's this one. It is a traditionally pieced block. It's totally approachable for beginner quilters. There are some areas that require small piecing and some skinny strips, so making sure you're accurate on your cutting and making sure you have a good grasp on your quarter inch seam will help you make a really crisp block. However, you can be far from a perfectionist to make a beautiful home art block or any of these blocks. They're so great. They're going to really help build skills. In the end of this quilt along, you're going to end up with an awesome 60 inch by 60 inch finished quilt that's going to be really great for keeping you cozy when sweater weather finally hits. Can't wait to see y'all out there quilting with us. Be sure to follow us on our Instagram and our Facebook pages to really get in on that sense of community that's going to come along with our quilt along. We'll see you out there. Hi quilty friends, Tamara from Remy Vale Studio here chatting about the sweater weather sampler from the Nine Patch Quilt Collective, a group of wildly talented pattern designers that I'm so humbled to be a part of. My block is called 
Harvest Moon. It's a super modern minimalist rendition of the full moon that happens around the time of the autumnal equinox, so the start of fall. Historically, this bright moon was used by farmers to harvest their crops late into the night, so I've tried to represent the moon shining on a farm field with the human behind it all in her tractor. Growing up in Iowa, this always reminds me of fall. I feel like even if you didn't grow up in a rural farming area, the beauty of a full moon is accessible in all of our memories. Also, I'm so excited that my block is being released on September 29th, the actual date of the harvest moon in 2023. So be on the lookout for it. I've introduced you to sewing curves, which I think you'll find pretty easy once you dive in. I've included tons of detailed sewing instructions in the pattern, there will be videos along the way. And of course, I'm always happy to take your questions. Thanks so much for being here. I absolutely can't wait to see what you all make. Hi there, Dana from Carnelian Quilting in my quilt studio, dining room. I'm not the only one, right? I'm here to chat about the Sweater Weather Sampler from the Nine Patch Quilt Collective. Nine Patch is a group of incredibly talented designers that I'm thrilled to find myself included in. I think you're going to really love the patterns they've put together for the sweater weather sampler. My block is the Aspen Grove block, which you can see here. This was inspired by my favorite place to be, which is the Aspen Grove behind my family's cabin in Idaho. The background is super simple strip piecing and the trees are made with a really fun improv technique I can't wait for you to try. Don't be intimidated, even if you've never tried improv before. It's a lot easier than you think and it can be really fun. There are step-by-step -step instructions in the pattern and I will be at the ready for any questions while you make it. We're so excited that you're here. We can't wait to see what you make. Hey y'all, my name is Anne with Crafty Moose Quilts and we are so excited for you to join us in the Sweater Weather Sampler 2023. The block that I have designed is called Warm Woodlands. I went ahead and made it into this fun pillow for our couch for the fall season. And let's be honest, it will probably be on the couch longer than that because we love fall. <laughs> um, I love gradients. So I really cannot wait to see your posts on Instagram and on the Facebook group because I can't wait to see what your fabric choices look like in this gradient pattern. You are going to learn so many techniques from my incredibly talented friends. We are all so glad that you're here and we can't wait to bless some winners with some really fun prizes. So thank you so much for joining us and we can't wait to see what you make. Hey everyone, it's Heather from Heck Yes SoCo. Thanks so much for joining us for the sweater weather sampler. My block is the Bonfire Embers block. It's inspired by like chilly autumn nights, hanging around the bonfire with friends. It is supposed to represent a log surrounded by some flames and then some embers and sparks around that. Uh, by now you should have great practice sewing some curves with Tamara and Megan's blocks. My block has some curves that are a little bit smaller. It uses two kinds of curves. The smaller curves can be a little bit finicky. Um, my best tip is to use lots of pins or lots of glue and just go slowly. Enjoy, thanks so much. Hi, I'm Christina from Cream City Quilts and I am so excited to be part of a super talented group of designers, the Nine Patch Collective, for the Sweater Weather Sampler this fall. My block is called the Wing Grub Block and it has a bunch of different techniques that are great for skill building. There are drip piecing, there's half square triangles, there's flying geese, and my block was inspired by just kind of thinking about falling leaves, um, checker plaid, and seeing trees reflected out on a lake during a, a nice fall day. I decided to name my block after Lake Wingra in Madison, Wisconsin, where I went to college, which is a great place just for all those fall and summer activities. I'm here to chat about this weather weather every time sweater weather this is Megan from modern moon milk 
along with, did I say sweater weather or sweater wetter? 